Coming up now, this is the second of the Aches Heats. Jumping in the back straight, a run of 900 to the post. Aussie made Lombo, drawn the pole. All set. Starter lets them go. Green light flashes and the arms fold and Courageous Zanny has zipped off. The arm from 10 is looking to cross and will do so. Gets across to lead Aussie made Lombo. So it's Courageous Annie on top. Aussie made Lombo second. She's all attitude will be obliged to race without cover in the early stages. Libby Mack was travelling in fourth posse and they were followed further back then by its Dutch Courage. On the inside next of all was Zenyata from Dream Verdict and then on the inside is Bella Shine. A length away to Lady Lorian and about two away to away with the fairies who was last of all. I tell you what, I don't think she's loafing Courageous Annie as they come around the turn into the straight. She leads by a length and a half. Aussie made Lombo takes the trail in behind the leader. Libby Mack was third and the first horse racing without cover was She's All Attitude. And then came Zenyata who's four pegs from its Dutch Courage in the 1-1. One, one. Bella Shine was on the markers from Dream Verdict and Lady Lorraine and away with the fairies was two away at the tail. Well 50.6 was the elite time so it wasn't all that quick. Leads by two. With 1,400 to go, Courageous Annie over Aussie made Lombo and She's All Attitude. They were followed by Libby Mack, who's on the inside of its Dutch Courage as they leave the straight. Then came Zen Yada and Dream Verdict from Bella Shine, five markers. Further back in the field, then uh, second to last, Lady Lorraine. And away with the fairies, just wanted to go roughly into the back and is a further two away last. 30.9. That was the first split of the last mile. And as they go into the back section of the track, they've got a 1,000 metres left to go. And it's Australasia's fastest pacing filly leading the way as they head down the back over the mile at least. Courageous Annie is on top by a neat length on She's All Attitude second. Aussie made Lombo is tucked away. Leaders back enjoying a cosy smother up. Second quarter, 28-8. He upped the ante down the back. In fourth spot on the outside next was uh, It's Dutch Courage. And then came Libby Mack. A few of these in the field are starting to get on their bikes to run on, including Dream Verdict, Lady Lorraine, then Zenyata, away with the fairies tacked on and went up three deep and last of all was Bella Shine but it's Courageous Annie, he hasn't gone free yet, comes down towards the home corner with 4.50 left to go She's All Attitude on the outside Dream Verdict made a line of three and Aussie Lombo, he's breaking out in carbuncles waiting for a run third quarter 29.4 as they flatten in there's room for Aussie made Lombo Courageous Annie, he goes full bore gets a length and a half in front Aussie made Lombo, shoves into the clear to come on, then came Dream Verdict, Libby Mack and Lady Lorraine with Bella Shine late, but it's Courageous Annie. Here's Aussie made Lombo coming at it, but Courageous Annie, like a namesake, she digs deep. Courageous win, goes home to hold. Aussie made Lombo, did you see Bella Shine jump out of the ground and grab third over Dream Verdict? They were followed back in behind them next by Lady Lorraine and then came further back to its Dutch Courage. Zenyata was off the track. Then came Libby Mack who was well astern of the field and uh, one of the last ones coming back into view was away with the fairies and another one's back with it. She's all attitude. 27-6 last quarter. She is top notch. She came off the arm hard. She found the lead. And he just gradually ground them out. 